Yo, 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 this is King Gurner coming to you guys live and direct. Listen, it's hurricane season. Everybody's going up on their prices, right? Not King Gurner. I still have the honorable prices. And I still have the honorable CMOS gold. But listen, everybody else has 32 ounces of the gel. Like the gel, like, you know, they have this, right? The 32 ounces of it, right, for $50. But King Ernest said, I'm going to outdo everybody. I have 64 ounces for $50. 64 ounces of the Honorable Seamoss Gold Gel. Now, we still have these, but guess what? They're not $5 anymore. They are $10. I've done it a couple weeks to give everybody a chance, and y'all sure enough bought them up. I didn't make any money off of it. Think about it. $5? Well, I'm going to make money. How did I make some money? But... I know everybody got a chance to use it, everybody that was really interested. And if you're really interested, you will say, you know what, stop playing and get that 64 ounces of gel and put it in that refrigerator in the back of it and scoop out every day and live a happily life. And this is what everybody else is running around for too, y'all. Look, they loving the soap. Look, man, listen to me. This natural 24 carat honorable Seamoss gold soap is the best thing that happened to me. I don't have bumps on my face anymore. I don't have bumps on my body. I don't itch for no reason in the dry spots. No, I just simply walk. And you know what I done? I took a lot of the fragrance and I made it French vanilla. Kind of, you know, natural. Very, everything's natural. But just tone the ingredient of trying to get a smell. We're trying to reach a goal. And a goal is our face clear and our skin clear of bumps and acne and things of this nature. So I honored it that way. Tune in, people, because you guys are making me look, you know, into putting more money into my products. And more products, I'm thinking of more products and more products. The lotion is on back order right now, but we have the soap. We have that honorable 64 ounces of gel, right? The honorable 64 ounces of gel, we have that. They're gonna, whoever else that claims to have CMOS, they're gonna give you something like this. Look at the look at the size difference. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the size difference. So they're gonna give you something else with gel in it, right? For $50, 32 ounces. I'm gonna give it to you 64 and it'll never stop. I promise. And you'll find that I have more than 64 in there. Because I only little bit of water, it locks up, and I'll put it right in. i make sure it's lumpy, not watery. Watch out for the tricks, people. And remember, elders, it's still the same honorable price. The elders, you guys, it's free. I just need proof that you're an elder, a senior citizen elder. <laughs> now, I want to speak on this red outpo. We got so many individuals, man, who actually are in tune, but they're missing the point. Like, I, I don't mind the conversations of individuals saying, King Gurner, um, this is this way, that is this way, and, you know, there's no facts about him. I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind individuals that's from Harlem or New York that contact me like, yo, King Gurner, you know, if they corrected me on something, but y'all gotta realize it's not about who know anybody. It's about inhumane and honor is worldwide. Honor is not something that I just talk about, you know. If you pay attention and really look into what I actually do, you will see that out of every blogger, I've kind of straightened my thing up a little bit better than a lot of people. I'm not running around trying to be anything that I'm not. I'm just trying to give the youngins awareness of what not to follow. Yo, listen, youngin, down there, they're selling drugs, and it's a rat that's ahead of them. He's the boss. Youngin, when you get close, keep walking. Don't let that boss that's the rat get in your ear the same way he got in the ear of the guys that's surrounding him. Because some of them are sturdy guys, and guess what? They just happen to be what? People who fall in the trap of rats. So I'm giving you youngins an honorable understanding of that. If you, if you got iron in your veins, you can't be a rat. You can't be running around boy-on-boy boy thing and all that other nonsense. That's not what men do. 
So when you come to this channel, you get an understanding that we on man time when we come here. A lot of people, their goal was to actually do what? Meet Alpo. If you ask any blogger, they would love to meet him. That's because they have a job description. This is not my job description. You know what this is for me? This is something that I'm doing for the community to give back worldwide. I'm able to touch everybody on YouTube. I don't miss a city. I don't miss nobody. I mean, I'm in everybody's living room. I'm in everybody's dining room. And what's different from my podcast that everybody else's is, I don't need help. See, I've known so many people that started off like I did, but they needed some type of help to go to the next level. I'm just right here on this level, maintaining my honor and not selling my soul. Too many people are more concerned about why I didn't go meet a rat. Yeah, you should have met him and said what you said to him in person. If I happen to bump into the man, he's a rat. That's it. Bottom line. I never, ever came out of my mouth violence. You guys see a beard, dark-skinned guy, a little bit of muscles, and you think violent. Nah. I'm only violent. I'm only ever going to be violent if it's a person sees me and their thing is like, get tough with him and try to harm him. Then I have to defend myself. Other than that, I'm not looking for no trouble. You got to look at me as the guy that's not in the way, who's out of the way. You see, the reason why I'm out of the way is because I know these lands across the world and these ghettos, they don't have that same, how can I say it? That same spunk anymore. It doesn't have the only hero in the communities, basically in the world that we live in, especially the ghettos, are rats. Suburban area too. Rats. You saw white boy Rick, right? You heard the story about him? Yeah, another rat. So my goal is this, and this is to everyone. Don't fall for the trick that's coming your way. The trick that's coming your way is that they're about to damn near put the rat thing in the hearts of every child. If you think about the Black Panthers and you get an understanding and you know, you will get an understanding in your heart more than your brain and you will know that the only reason why our people was broke up and wound up you know, getting on drugs and stuff like that is because of betrayal from their own people. Rats. William O'Neill, what you think he done? He turned his people over. He was head of, he was like security for the Black Panthers. So when you speak of what destroys our community and you hear King Ernest speaks on what we would call stop recycling crime because if we put the sign that says no rats, and all that other nonsense, you're going to get a bad, you know, feedback. But if you speak with honor and, and some truth and you have integrity and you point out the law, what King Gurna says, what did King Gurna tell everybody? For those who don't know, who has just, who's just come in here, it's called Stop Recycling Crime. Stop Recycling Crime. I actually have a banner, but this new wall I have here... Where I'm at is just like different than where, I, you know, it just doesn't add up and it doesn't fit right. But I'm going to get it in the back. You guys are going to see it. But stop recycling crime is a law that I came up with. It's under the rules and laws of honor. Stop recycling crime section A is an understanding to the people that there are individuals who actually grow up in the ghetto poverty be negative all their life, get caught up and don't want to do the time. The police scare them and they're, well, they're not really scared. They wanted to be rats, but, you know, whatever their excuse is and they, they, they log on and helping the police lock people up. Now, we understand two things, that the police are what? They are supposed to be, the, 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 everybody in the, in the world protected. They're supposed to protect us, right? Okay, cool. If they're protecting us, why are they allowing an individual that's a rat a person that gets locked up does a crime like anybody else, right? And when he, he or she gets locked up, they're able to say, I know something. And these same protectors of us unhandcuff that person, no matter the crime. Rather, they had to go to trial and tell and get the cuffs taken off or they got out the back of the car and told. Whatever the case, whatever the case section 
A of the stop recycling crime is really an understanding for the people that they have to stop doing this. You know, you have to stop agreeing with it. You have to stop honoring it, but you don't have to come negative. You don't have to be negative and you don't have to speak violent. We're not going to get it to stop like that. All we're going to get if we, if we go in that avenue is a lot of innocent people ending up hurt. Why? We get an understanding that what? The rats are supposedly, quote unquote, the most dangerous ones in this world. You know why? Because they're able to do what? Do a crime to you and get right out if they tell on you or somebody surrounding you. That's dangerous. And this is what we have going on in our communities. So what I want to do is be able to touch base on this and you guys understand. Now you have section B of the stop recycling crime. You have section B that's for me and you. Because only people of iron really sit here this long. You know, you got to be about six or seven minutes in to be sitting here watching King Erna this time at like 11, 13. Okay, all right then. So if you've been here for 11 minutes and 13 seconds, then you, you're interested. Section B is the ones who sat in their cell and said to themselves, right? The ones who sat in their cell and said to themselves, this, this right here, this ain't for me. Damn, this ain't for me. Damn, I want to tell my homies, man. I want to tell all my little brothers, man. That through this time when I come home, I want to tell everybody, man, this ain't for me, man. This ain't me. It ain't for me. And guess what? He comes home, and that neighborhood that he once tore down, he rebuilds back up. A guy of my prestige, a guy that's going into places that I'm going, a guy that came from a little small room recording with little space is now bigger. I have my own space. Guys used to always say, oh, he got this little, no, 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 no more, no more. Because you guys watching me, the ones who have honor, you guys support me. It put money, legal money in my pocket to actually go ahead and help others. Believe it or not, I give the YouTube money away as a charity to the people. But it's not for me to. I do this, take a video. It's for me to help. Let's go. What's your next move? What are we going to do? All right, you got them? You together? Okay, well, how many t-shirts you got? Somebody in your neighborhood you just came home, he's running around, and he's trying to get people to do what? Sell drugs. Oh, no. Pull up on that person. I don't have to bring that here. What's going on, homie? Listen, these little kids right here, I understand you might got dumb already brainwashed, but these kids here, they ain't with it. They with the Honor Your Life campaign. You have a nice day, bro. And most real people say, my bad, homie, I don't even want to be in this stuff myself. How you go about investing in doing something like this you're doing? And what we begin to do is build a millions and millions of people who have this type of honor. But we don't have this type of honor because it's the other portion of the individuals that say, who care who Apple right? He was smart. Well, let's say this. Y'all say Apple was smart, right? I say it was at a time where a lot of people wasn't used to people betraying them. Everybody would just get some money, trusting in one another, and that's what happened. And he was able to get over. Y'all call it intelligence. Him having the guns and the stuff put somewhere else when him and Wayne Perry and all them got locked up and him telling them where to go put it at and them, the ones who actually quote unquote supposed to have done it, they, they the ones that put it there? Oh gosh, he's smart. No, I'm smart. You know why? Because if I wasn't smart and I was some weirdo who would wanted to meet this guy and I was a YouTuber, I would have slid up and met this kitten. And when I would have met this kitten, guess what? I would have took pictures, hugged him. I heard Apple's story, and although I'm against rats, I, I just looked this thing that he needs to get for pass. No, he doesn't. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. When I say a pass, so we get this clear, because I know they'll try to come every angle, because what I'm doing is serious, so you got to make sure you go in every hole. So when I say give him a pass, I'm not talking about his life. 
I'm speaking about a past, like, people excuse it, like, it's over with, like, how he's getting the attention on the streets, going back to Harlem and kicking it with the guy, Nitty, that calls his name Nitty. How your name Nitty, cuz? And you, smack, smack, mug, the mug of honor, Nitty. I'm your name Nitty, yeah, I ain't with that. Let me tell you about that guy real quick. That guy contacts me and says, I ain't with nothing that that guy got going on. I don't like rats. I told him I ain't like what he done to Wayne, period. But he got his smile and the picture shaking his hand like he's Obama. And that's what y'all look at these rats as. Y'all look at them as people that can save y'all. I don't look at them as that. You know what I look at them as? I look at them as kittens who don't have not an inch of honor in their veins. So y'all can continue to follow that or whatever, but I'm not giving out passes. I'm not excusing it. I'm not ignoring it. I will give every child worldwide the understanding of not the foul guys like him. When I speak of rats, I don't have to speak of who they are. I can speak of the father of the rats, the king of rats. I'll po I can speak that. They say, King Garner, there's people that's getting shirts made and all this other stuff. Okay, tell them don't forget to get king of the rats. They might sell more because you know what? Ratting is at an all-time high. Guys like me, I stay far away from anything that has to do with the streets. I got away. You know why I got away? And I made sure that I kept away? Because at the end of the day, it's one big trap. They call it the trap, but it becomes the trap. It becomes a trap when individuals actually take time out and set each other up about money when there's so many ways of earning legally. So youngins, forget all the violence. Only violence that I approve of, and I can't lie, is gloves up, guns down. Guns up. However it go, guns up, gloves down. Gloves up, guns down. That's the only violence I approve of because it's an equal understanding between two people, you know. So anybody that thinks that meeting a rat is cool, anybody that's, that, that feel like they want to call me and say, oh, here you dropped the ball, you're supposed to have an interview. I'm looking at you funny when you tell me that. When you tell me that I'm supposed to got an interview from a rat, I'm going to look at you funny, man. Why would I want to be associated? If I was in the federal joints, right, and you guys know me, if you're going to speak up, speak up loud now. You know I never spoke to a rat or kicked it with him, and if I found out or if you told me that a person was rat, I called you on it right in front of the person. I thought he said if you was, he wasn't rat. Ask why I'm rat behind. He knows. He respected, too. Yeah, I don't deal with rats. I don't care. Derek from Huntington Park. Fat Derek, he all... From, I'm talking about from Huntington Park. What's his last name? I forgot his last name, but his first federal bid, he told his second federal bid, he just all of a sudden, you know, quote unquote, a stand up guy. This guy from, you know, he was repping, I think Derek was repping Jerome Street at the time, and he's, from what I get, he's a rat. So now I understand of the, him kicking it with the womp womps and shaking people's hands. He don't have no honor. That's who he is, but who we are. We carry with honor. We're looking for jobs, youngins. You're looking to stand up straight up and down. You ain't looking to be struggling around trying to figure out how you're going to re-up because you don't got this and the stuff so high and the crackheads not buying it and the people are locking you up. Why join in that when you can start your illegal business, get you a job first, build your bankroll up, get you a business and earn Stop faking out here, man. Stop following these rats. Stop following these suckers, man. And make something better of yourself. And you know how you can make something better of yourself? By not caring about what nothing, nobody else got to say. You know how the rats, they don't care what, I don't care, I'm telling. Huh, I'm going to court, I'm going to stand. I don't care, I'm telling. Them dudes, they, man, they going to go to jail, them niggas get all that money? That's their spill. Good men spill is, Damn, I'm going to trial. A lot of things they may be holding you up on may not be true. So it's like, why would I admit to things that's not true? 
But I didn't speak to these people about anything. Why not? Reserve my rights. Go to trial. If I lose, I got a right to go to another trial. That's just it. And get out. You get a chance, man. That's what it was. That's how we got so many different honorable privileges, like being able to go to a masjid in prison, being able to go to a musella, rather, a place of worship in prison. We're able because the OGs that was in place, they stood for something, man. They weren't no suckers. They didn't stand and bend over backwards like you guys do to be rats. They stood for something, man. You know what? They got their time. They done it. But if they felt bad about the person, they may have some disagreements, chase each other around with knives and all that. But And that's not funny. But at the same token, because I'm not promoting none of this nonsense. But at the same token, I'd rather have seen that in people squash their beef through their time and come home. Ask God for their forgiveness and never do it again. Opposed to getting the government in the middle and locking each other up of something that you can handle on your own. Town watches, you can handle it on your own. Town watches, you got this. All righty. That's what I'm counting on. I'm counting for the town watches that contact the Honor Your Life campaign and say, King Erna, so-and-so left trash on my door. You know, can you please tell them don't leave that deer there? They're, they're doing their little thing or whatever. Can you tell them I'm doing in front of my house, please? Tell them to change up like you or whatever, whatever, but please. That's what we need. We don't need you calling the cops. And then two seconds later, that person dead because the cop didn't kill them because he's scared of the people on the streets. Cops are nervous. They're scared. We got to get it together. King Gunner Live and Direct. Don't forget what? 64 ounces versus those little 32. Did everybody give me for 50? No. Get your money worth 64 for $50. Live and direct. Look at the clean. You see my face is clear. Even when I sweat. I'm in tech. Live and direct.